Hi, this is Dirk with Remodel AI, and I'm very excited to show you our newest tool, the Paint Explorer. The Paint Explorer is all about one simple thing, and that is answering one of the toughest questions you have when you're doing a remodel, renovation, or even building new, and that is, what paint color are you going to use? And that applies to all the interior rooms, what paint color you're going to use on your kitchen, on your living room, on your bathrooms, as well as your outside, what, what paint color you're going to use on the house or on the trim. So the Paint Explorer helps you visualize different options and different paint colors to help you narrow down the exact paint that you want. So I'm going to jump right in. The first step is the normal first step, and that is choosing your example photo. So take the best photo you can of a room as clean as possible or the outside of the house. In this case, I'm just going to work with the sample so that you can replicate what I'm doing on your own. Um, so there's a couple samples available. I'll just choose the first one. It's a pretty simple, clean photo. The second step is about two different things. One is choosing what paint or paint colors you want to use, and two, choosing what you want to paint. So let's start with what you want to paint. Now I've loaded in an interior image, so the AI actually went ahead and painted the interior walls because that's normally what you want to paint. Uh, but I can go in here with these tools and modify what I want to paint. So let's say I want to paint the ceiling as well, so I could use a big brush to paint over the ceiling. I don't actually want to do that in this case, so I'm going to hit undo. Um, you can also use the magic wand tool, which basically can fill in these areas just like Photoshop. Um, I don't actually want to paint the ceiling there, so I'm going to use the eraser to say, no, oops, too big. I'm going to use the eraser to say, no, don't paint the ceiling. This does not need to be perfect, so I wouldn't spend too much time here getting everything perfect um, because the goal is to give the AI an idea of what you want to paint. Um, and let the AI do the work. So don't spend too much time here making it perfect. Just color in the areas you want to see painted. Um, the second step was choosing a paint color. So here, there's a couple different ways you can choose paint color. There's two different paints we can work with because sometimes you want to actually have different color. If you're painting cabinets, for example, different color, colored lowers and uppers. Um, but let's click on and change this paint color. So let's just click choose color. Uh, the first tab here, you'll have a list of a couple colors, and those are recently used colors that you've played with in the past. So if you like a couple specific colors that you like to play with, those will appear here because you've used them recently. You can also click on the palette and choose a specific color to your liking. So you can you know, pick the color all sorts of different ways, and it'll give you the RGB value and the hex value of that specific color. And it'll just say custom up here because that's not a specific paint from a specific brand necessarily. Um, you can also go here to custom. So if you can't find a specific paint that you're looking for in the app, you can go to the paint manufacturer's website or the store and you can usually get the RGB value or the hex value of that specific paint color. And so if you want to see that paint color, you can type it in here. Another useful tool is say you found a color you really like, um, like this kind of bluish color. I can click on similar and it will show me specific paints from a couple different vendors that look very similar to that. So I could say this custom looks, the closest is PPG's Black Flame, Benjamin Moore's Approaching. Um, so you can see a couple different things. I use Bear because I go to Home Depot a lot, so Secret Society, so I could pick, I want to go with Secret Society instead. Um, the other option is if you're looking for something, you can go in here and type in all sorts of things. Lemon, um, sand, you know, bear, red. So you can type in specific paints that are in the database and it will find a specific paint for you. So a lot of different ways to choose colors, um, but most of the time I'm playing with the palette to find something close and then I look in similar to say, let's go with Secret Society. So I'm gonna pick Secret Society. So now when you notice I switch back, it's now this slight bluish color um, and it's gonna paint that area and Secret Society from Bear. I could switch and I could you know, use the other paint here to um, paint the ceiling a different color. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just showing you how to use two paint colors and you can switch between these two. So let's say, okay, let's move forward. We're gonna paint the walls with Secret Society from Bear. Now just click Generate. Now, paint color is a complex subject, so it's going to do the best it can. Paint colors look very different in different lighting, from 3K lighting to 5K lighting, or daylight versus nighttime. 
there's a lot of complexity about displaying colors and how different they look at different times of day and different lighting. So it's going to give you its best guess, and it's going to give you a few of them of what that color might look like in your room. So this is one of the guesses. This is another guess. And they look pretty similar, which makes sense, but you'll notice the lighting is slightly different in a couple of them. If you go with a lighter color, you can tend to see a couple different uh, more varied guesses. And you can, again, always switch to the source and back to see the differences between the before and after. And that's a pretty good looking room. I would probably not go with that color. I'd go with something lighter. Um, but it gave me an idea to say, okay, I don't want something that dark. Let's go back. And this is a very common thing. At this point, you'll go back and you'll say, I'm going to click on this paint color. I'm going to click choose color. And let me go to the palette. And I'm going to say, let me drag this up a little bit to something a little lighter. Click on similar. Let's go with PPG's artifact. Or if we want to stick with bear, we could do that with liquid mercury. And then say, OK, let's now go to back to the generation, click Next, and click Generate. And I do like that a lot better. It's a little bit lighter. Not as light as you would think by looking at the color, uh, but it's trying, the AI is trying to guess based on the rooms and the shadows how that color would look in this room. So it, you know, this room does have a little bit of darkness to it. It's not a ton of light. There's no lights here. There's a little bit of light coming in the window there. Uh, but it's overall a pretty dark room, so even that light color might look this dark. But as you can see, the Paint Explorer is a great tool to help you narrow down your choices. At this point, what you usually want to do is go get physical paint swabs, colors, paint them on the wall, hold them up on the wall to narrow down the exact color that you want. And hopefully this tool can really help you find the perfect color for your room or the exterior of your house or your trim of your house. Whatever you're painting, it'll help you find the perfect color. Thanks and hope you enjoy it.